，欢迎大家参加我哋呢个相遇嘅新型肺炎第四个城市论坛。之前嗰三个咧已经系录影咗，咁你哋咧就可以喺 a h i u c s f e d u 呢个网站嗰度诶揾到嚟睇嘅。Welcome everyone, thank you for joining us today in this fourth bilingual town hall on the novel coronavirus for the community. The three Previous ones has been have been recorded, and you can find the YouTube recordings in the ahi.ucsf.edu website. We have attendees from not just locally, but also from different states as well as overseas. So welcome you all. 我系加大诶亚裔研究院嘅主任，咁我名叫程雪莹。今晚嘅论坛主持咧。亦都係我，咁我哋咧今日咧就係以粵語同埋英語進行呢次論壇嘅。So I'm Diana Lau, director of the Asian Health Institute of UCSF and moderator for this evening's town hall. We will be conducting this town hall bilingually in both English and Chinese. Thank you for your patience listening to both languages. 咁我哋今日咧就係好榮幸，好榮幸請到喺香港兩位好著名，亦都係德高望重嘅醫生。嚟到同我哋今日參加今日嘅講座嘅，咁佢哋咧就係袁國勇教授同埋孔凡毅教授。咁咧就誒，首先我就想介紹下誒我哋今日嘅嘉賓啦。咁咧亦都有我哋 UCSF 嘅 Dr. Peter Chin Hong 陳子平醫生嘅。咁我哋首先講一講陳子平醫生先啦。咁就。Professor Peter Chin Hong is a professor of the Infectious Disease Department at the University of California, San Francisco, and the associate dean for the University of California regional campuses. He is also the director of the Immunocompromised Host Infectious Disease Program at UCSF, and has received several distinguished teaching awards. 首先介绍陈子平医生，佢系加州大学旧金山分校。医学院嘅传染病系嘅教授，佢亦都系加州大学传播校区嘅副院长。陈教授咧就系 UCSF 低免疫功能传染病计划嘅主任，系获得咗几个杰出嘅教学奖嘅。咁第二位我想介绍嘅咧就系喺香港嚟嘅其中一位教授袁国勇教授。咁袁国勇教授咧。我哋係非常之榮幸請到佢嘅，佢喺醫學同埋科學嘅研究領域之中咧，有非常之顯著嘅成就。咁我哋其實如果用曬呢個鐘頭嘅時間去介紹袁教授咧，都唔夠時間介紹佢嘅，因為佢嘅成就太多。咁咧，所以我哋而家只可以簡略咁樣係介紹袁教授，希望袁教授唔好介意。咁相信各位網上嘅朋友咧，好多人都認識袁教授噶啦，因為佢成日都有喺 TV 嗰度訪問嘅。咁誒、呃，袁教授咧就係、是。一個一位啊臨牀嘅微生學家啦，咁喺二零零三年嘅時候咧，嗰時就係全球爆發嚴重急性呼吸系統綜合症，即係我哋簡稱沙士呢個病，佢就發現沙士呢個冠狀病毒，咁咧呢個係一個非常之重要嘅成就嚟嘅，就係、是、比當時嘅《時代亞洲雜誌》咧，係啊亞洲時代雜誌啊，就選咗做年度嘅亞洲英雄。我哋真係好 proud 你啊，啊，袁醫生。咁咧，依個誒成就之外咧，佢咧仲繼續咧努努力係咁樣揾到依個誒冠狀病毒啊，係喺依個中國嘅馬體嘅篇幅裏邊，就係做誒源頭嘅，就係棲身地嘅。咁即係依個病毒嘅源頭。咁依啲都係非常之顯著嘅成就嚟嘅。袁教授咧，而家就喺香港大學微生物學傳染病系嘅主任，亦都係誒。中國新興傳染病國家重點研究室嘅共同指導，咁誒佢喺香港大學咧就設立咗依個 Pasteur Research Institute 巴斯德研究中心，佢係嘅依個中心嘅始創聯席主任。咁袁教授咧出多咗一個一千篇嘅科學論文嘅，咁我哋真係誒非常覺得係非常之難得。Next, we like to introduce Dr. Pro,、uh, Professor Yuan Guoyang, Dr. Yuan. Um, is a clinical microbiologist, and he led his team in the discovery of the SARS coronavirus during the global outbreak of severe acute respiratory syndrome in 2003, and was later honored as the Asian Heroes of the Year by the Time Asia magazine. Later, 
He found the natural reservoir of the virus, similar to the SARS coronavirus, in the Chinese horseshoe bats. Professor Yun is currently the chair of the infectious disease at the Department of Microbiology of the University of Hong Kong. He co-directs the state's key laboratory of emerging infectious disease of China in Hong Kong and was also the founding co-director of the Hong Kong University's Pasteur Research Center. He has over a thousand scientific publications. Thank you for joining us, Professor Yun. Thank you, Diana. Professor Ivan Hung is Professor and Assistant Dean of the Department of Medicine, Lei Ka Sing, Faculty of Medicine in the University of Hong Kong. He is also a dual specialist in infectious disease and gastroenterology and hepatology. In 2003, Professor Hung served as an honorary consultant to the primary hospital to combat SARS and later received the anti-SARS gold, uh, gold award for his outstanding contribution. Professor Hung also has published over 150 scientific papers. Yuan Fan, Hong Fan, I, Jiao Shao, Hai Hong Kong Dai Hao, Li Ka Sing, Yi Hao Yuan, Yi Hao Bao, Jiao Shao, Kim Zhao, Li Yuan Zhang, Yi Du Hai Chu Yuan Bang, and Wei Chang Gan, Bang Hao Ge Jun Ga. In 2003, Hong Jiao Shao was named as Hong Kong Malaria Hospital's SARS Medical Director. That is also because of his contribution to the SARS Medical Director. 抗 SARS 方面嘅傑出貢獻咧，係獲得咗依個抗 SARS 嘅金牌獎嘅。佢係出多咗個一百五十篇嘅科學論文。So we are very happy to have both professors from Hong Kong joining us. So this is the agenda for today. And、uh, so again, we have three parts: the introduction, the panel discussion, and a question and answers period. Dr. Yun has done. A press、uh, conference in Hong Kong the, over this last weekend on his new research, and he's going to share with, that with us today also. So we are really for, very fortunate. 咁呢個就係我哋今日嘅誒項目，咁就係分開三部分嘅。初初就係簡介啦，然後咧就係討論嗰啲項目啦，跟住咧就係有個問答時間嘅。咁我哋而家睇下呢個誒 update。OK， 呢個就係全世界咧，而家都誒其實今日噶啦。就係五月廿一號咧，全世界而家有已經多過五百萬嘅 case， 同埋咧差唔多有誒三十三萬嘅人死咗嘅。咁我哋睇到依幅圖咧，就係、是、見到佢嗰條線啊，都係好直線上升嘅。依、这個咧就係翻翻嚟美國，阿、啊、袁醫生同埋孔醫生，你哋睇一睇我哋美國嘅慘況。<laughs> so this is how the coronavirus cases have been escalating in the U.S. And、uh, the first case was identified on January 15. Really, that was from somebody that came back from Wuhan and、uh, to Seattle. And、um, since then, up to January,、uh, up to February, we only have about、uh, eight cases. Not many. Then starting in March, you see for the whole month of March, from March third on the bottom to March twenty seventh, we have increased from one hundred cases to a hundred thousand cases. That's a one thousand fold increase. This chart, then, is the three months of the coronavirus outbreak. Then you see that the three months of the coronavirus outbreak, from the three months of the coronavirus outbreak to the three months of the coronavirus outbreak, the case. 就係、是、由嗰個個案啊，係由一百個 case 咧增加到十萬個 case 嘅。咁所以咧，增幅嘅嘅嘅速率啊係一千倍。咁我哋而家到底係點解會等到佢增加得咁快，同埋誒誒中間係會唔會有機會俾我哋係做咗某一啲嘢而將呢個疫情喺中間斬斷咗佢？嗯，到呢個咁嘅情形嘅啦。咁我哋而家想請阿袁國勇醫生咧，講一講誒，佢、嗯、係去,去武漢嘅時候睇到武漢嘅情形，佢哋嘅升幅啊，係咪又係好似我哋而家美國咁樣樣嘅咧？一為仲快啲咧、呃？我相信咧兩笪地方係唔可以比較，因為我睇到美國、呃、所做嘅測試嘅數量係高好多好多。咁而當年即係、就是、我啱啱即係當時我去武漢嘅時候。喺今年頭嘅一月啊，十八號去嗰陣時，佢哋誒由北京送去嘅測試劑測試盒咧，先啱啱到咗一兩日。咁所以佢當時咧，即係每日咧能夠做嘅數量咧
係講緊以百計嘅成個武漢市嚟。咁咧，但係即係後來佢哋當然多咗好多啦，但係都係慢慢咁加上。誒、呃，即係美國嗰個測試嗰、那個，我哋所謂 search capacity 咧係非常高。所以當你見到咁多誒病例嘅時候咧，即係你唔可以比較起誒喺武漢當時發生嘅事。咁當然啦，後來我哋又知道啦，因為香港有誒好多武漢人，即係好多香港人上咗武漢做生意，就困咗喺嗰度。咁後來到到誒三四月嗰陣時，佢哋就翻翻香港。咁我哋幫佢咧就測試佢哋嘅血清，就發覺有三點八個 percent 啫，係佢哋有抗體嘅。咁就證明呢，即係有個唔細可能性，武漢嗰陣時即係野病嘅人呢，即係起碼都應該有即係接近四嘅 percent 到。咁所以你成一成誒武漢嘅人口，你知道其實嗰、那個嗰、那個感染率個人係非常非常多。但係我哋所以見到，即係真係入醫院啊，真係要病到真係要睇醫生呢，嘅人只係好少。咁我哋成日都講呢個叫 tip of the iceberg phenomenon。即、就、係、是、冰山一角啊！咁所以我相信其實我自己嘅感覺啊，就咁睇咧。其實誒、啊、武漢同湖北當時嘅情況同美國而家嘅情況其實就冇咁大嘅分別。啊，個分別主要就係大家啊做嗰測試嘅數量唔同啦。咁而我哋就咁計條數出嚟咧，即、就、係、是、我哋計到咧，就係、是、其實真係即係每一百個人真係染咗病之後，真係會去到睇醫生入醫院測試嘅咧，可能得三個 percent 到。So the, what happens is that the, the two places, the U.S. and also the Wuhan or New York and Wuhan, are not directly comparable because、uh, the number of tests being done is very different. Especially in the beginning, when I visited Wuhan in the, the 19th of January, at that time they、uh, just received the test kits、uh, from the Beijing CDC. So the amount of testing was.、Uh, Very low in the beginning, it's only around 100 day per day, but slowly it is being escalated. Now, but uh, uh, not, what I can say is that uh, uh, when uh, the Hong Kong residents who were visiting Wuhan and being locked down in Wuhan for a few months before they are allowed to come back to Hong Kong in uh, 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 March and April, we tested the serum and then found that、uh, 3.8% of this. Uh, Hong Kong returnees from Wuhan are actually zero positive. That means that they have previous exposure,、uh, but asymptomatic uh, uh, despite the exposure, are antibody positive, right? So they must have been exposed and must have been infected, and any、uh, and the body must have mounted an immune response in terms of antibody response. Now, so if you calculate what happens, which means that around four percent of these.、Uh, Of all those in Wuhan may have been infected, and that is a huge number. So when you compare with the number of cases that are virologically confirmed, you can see that actually the number of reported cases is just the tip of the iceberg,、uh, which means that the most of people who are infected did not、uh, get symptoms or did not get tested, and that that may constitute 97 percent of them. So、uh, if you look at all these figures, you would see that actually. There may not have much differences、uh, between the incidence of、uh, COVID-19 in the United States and in the Hubei, Wuhan. By April third,、um, the number of cases has doubled to two hundred thousand, and then by the end of April, so April twenty-eighth, I believe, it has gone up to one million cases. So ten times this amount in one month. And so, of course, now in the United States, we have the one point over one point five million cases, and so、um, the the rates have just gone keep on going up exponentially. Although it's, it's slowing down a little bit now in terms of this sharp curve, it's still going up. Two major events happen in March in in the United States. First of all, there's the spring break.、Um, The college students were out of school, and many kids are out of school. Other school kids, and the college students end up in beaches. And this is a picture of the、uh, of one of the beaches in Fort Lauderdale in、uh, Florida. And you can see that they're really having a lot of fun and not wearing masks. And so, 
the the three other pictures showed the hot the, the map of their hot tracings of their cell phones. And you can see that after the beach party, then the students go all over. And mostly on the East Coast, but then you can see that they're spreading and then spreading more. These uh, people, if they were infected, they would have carried the virus around to the rest of the nation. This map is the second problem in March. It's not really a problem, it needs to happen. That is when New York was getting a lot of cases and the governor announced that uh, there's going to be a stay-at-home order on March 20th. So, well, what did people do? They left New York and they started leaving New York to the rest of the country. So you see that this is a, another hot map using cell phone tracing technology to follow the New Yorkers all the way across from the East Coast to the West Coast. So coming back locally to San Francisco, and uh, we have close to 2,000 cases and uh, 36 deaths only. So um, we don't do as well as Hong Kong. We, however, do much better than a lot of the rest of the nation because our mayor and the medical uh, director of the San Francisco Public Health Department, we have to give them a lot of credits that they, before the first case ever happened in February, they are announcing that San Francisco has to have restrictions in place and they issue stay at home orders a month later. So um, we are one of the first places in the nation to have stay at home orders. So, but looking at the 36 death cases, we have a problem here. If you look at that top square, uh, that says death and race and ethnicity, you can see that Asians is the bottom line, that's the widest line that has 18 cases. So 18 out of the 36 cases are Asians. We don't know what type of Asians, uh, but definitely is a proportionate number of deaths for uh, our community. So there will be research uh, going on to find out what's going on. Uh, we do know, we do know that looking at the age group, that 90%, over 90% of the people are over 60 years old. And according to the um, uh, medical uh, director, the people who died who are Asians, uh, a large number of them were over 80 years old. And then there's the males are also disproportionately affected in San Francisco. I guess that is more in line with the rest of the nation that males uh, get more COVID infections uh, or die from COVID infections more than females at this point of time that we know of. Um, mm -hmm. I want to stop here for a second and see if Dr. Chin Hong wants to make any comments and if Dr. Yun and Dr. Hong wants to make any comments about San Francisco and Hong Kong and in terms of deaths and infections. Yes, <clears throat> thanks, Diana. So first, I'd like to make a comment before the San Francisco comment about those two events that you said occurred in March. Uh, one was spring break and the other was the shelter in order place uh, order in New York and everyone left. I would say that an earlier event that happened that was even more significant was when uh, President Trump introduced the idea of restricting flights from Europe to the United States and he gave people two days notice. So what happened is everyone came from Europe to the East Coast of the United States and um, they were all crowded in airports waiting for screening. No one was wearing any masks. So that was also two weeks later is when a lot of events happened. That was around March to 13th or so. So again, that was another seminal event because these airports in Chicago, New York, DC uh, were all flooded with uh, people coming back from Europe, which was the place where there was a lot of disease at the time. So that was my main comment. I don't have much comments. I, I, I think the situation is always the same. Uh, first is border control. If you can't control the source, you better get in big trouble. Second is control of dissemination within your community. And that makes all this uh, masking, social distancing, uh, rapid contact tracing, case finding and isolation most important. I think if uh, you fail in either respect, then you, you have a big problem. It's uh, just that uh, listening to what you said, I mean, so many Europeans, uh, so many people coming back from UK and Europe, uh, it's a big disaster if they're not being screened at the border and 
uh, get quarantined for 14 days. Uh, I think that would be the biggest mistake there. Uh, just listening to what has been said. I, I was not going to say anything, but I couldn't help but comment on Dr. Professor Yoon's last comment because it makes me so angry that <clears throat> we don't have intelligent border screening or border control in the U.S. regarding public health and disease. And when you go to Asia, it's just so amazing that they get everyone gets screened with temp temperature sensors. And now with COVID, there's non-invasive testing at the borders, which is saliva testing. Whereas in the U.S., we still have you know, the nasal swabs and nobody's doing it at the borders. In fact, my friend who was in Korea, I had mentioned this before, uh, when Korea had the surge, came to New York on a direct flight and went through customs in seven minutes. Basically, I agree with, uh, with Peter that, you know, the, the saliva test is probably the, uh, the, the essential in terms of border control, what they come in and then they can provide saliva. Uh, they don't even have to stay in the airport. They now can go home uh, and wait for the result. We usually come back within eight hours. Uh, and if it's positive, then they will be hospitalized for treatment straight away. Uh, if not, then they will be uh, home quarantined for 14 days. So the whole system works very well. Zhenyu 一個口水的樣本那基本上那位人士不需要留在機場可以回家 do you see this happening in the States, um, Dr. Shinha? You mean border screening? Yeah. No, not at all. I mean, there is screening, but it's old fashioned and very inconsistent. Some, you know, like the time when President Trump ordered the travel ban from New York to the US, there was screening, but that meant everyone was crowded together with no masks for maybe five to seven hours waiting for the screening. That is not very intelligent screening. And that was a questionnaire, not, you know, what Dr. Hung described, which was, if you are triggered off, you do saliva screening. Yeah, we have not gone to saliva screening here. Still doing the nasopharyngeal swabs, yeah. And the nasopharyngeal swabs requires PPE by somebody doing it. It's very unwieldy. It's hard to do that on a large scale. Professor? Yuan has uh, something new to tell us that we all wanted to find out about masks. Right, um, I just want to uh, give an overall uh, view of the situation in Hong Kong and tell everybody how masks may have helped that Hong Kong uh, make Hong Kong better during the COVID-19 pandemic. And so to start with, I just want to show you this is the uh, virus under the electron microscopy. So this is the new coronavirus and there are surface projections which we call the spike. And this uh, protein projection is very important because it is the place where it's stuck onto, it attached onto the whole cell so that the virus can enter the cell and start the infection. Uh, uh, I, I must be grateful to Professor Xin Hong for inviting me here. Uh, Peter, Jane 
誒二次嘅病毒可以進入我哋細胞，引起呢個感染嘅。咁啊，呢個係好緊要嘅，即係一路講落去，大家就明白，即係好多疫苗啊，甚至好多我哋嗰啲中和抗體啊，都係因為佢誒黐上咗去誒呢、呃這個長丁蛋白，即係 block 咗佢，係阻隔咗佢，以致佢唔可以進入我哋細胞。啊，咁即係我哋開始就講呢樣嘢。誒、啊、大家都記得誒呢、啊這個幅相就係當時喺二零零三年沙士就非常出名嘅，就係、是、你見機場一個人都冇。啊，咁你誒睇、啊、今次同上次嘅分別就係、是、今次誒誒講緊而家嚟到，即係已經開始咗五個月啦 ，Covid n i 咁我哋已經係而家已經超過五百萬人，即、就、係、是、接近五百萬人或者超過五百萬人受感染。咁而個死亡係、啊啊、多多好多，講緊係超過三十萬人死咗。咁而照返就沙士咗六個月，先正係死咗誒一千人度。咁上次已經好張啊，即係嗰個經濟損失係四十個 billion。咁今次幾多我哋都估唔到。啊、但係個重點就係、是，即係究竟誒點去控制佢呢？最緊要呢都係兩樣嘢嘅，所有嘅誒誒疫症嘅控制，一就係控制嗰個源頭，另外一樣嘢呢就係控制嗰、那個啊嗰、那個誒 dissemination， 我哋所謂嗰個誒傳播。啊、你要控制到兩樣嘢，個疫症就控制到。所以 just want to say that 就 just within the five months， 誒 Covid nineteen has produced much much more damage than the SARS in two zero zero three， 啊 ，which ends within the six months。I just want to say again that the control of any major epidemic， 啊、uh, ，one is the source control， you control the source， things will be fine and it will not relapse。The second is control the dissemination， so 啊、uh,。Every, there is inevitably some cases that come into U.S. or into Hong Kong. How do we stop them from、uh, continuing as a chain of transmission throughout the community is another、uh, important control measures. So the source and the dissemination; these are the two issues that we need to remember. Ah, 咁其实最重要讲到即系诶点样去控制个源头啊，始终你都要揾到个源头先。咁當年 SARS 嘅時候，我哋就揾到其實 SARS coronavirus 啊，佢嘅祖先嘅病毒呢，其實喺呢個中華福頭福啊，或者中華馬蹄福裏面揾到。咁我哋誒揾到呢個呢，就好緊要，因為我哋知道其實所有嘢都係源自呢個野生動物，即係你控制到野生動物市場呢，你就可以阻止到嗰個病毒再重臨啦。所以 just want to say that 就係 two zero zero three SARS。Uh, we of course try to find the source and control the source to prevent the、uh, SARS epidemic from coming back. And by doing animal surveillance, we find that the ancestral virus, which is highly related to the、uh, human SARS coronavirus, was finally found in Chinese horses' bats. And that makes、uh, it、uh, a very important.、Um, that、uh, produces a very important message that we must control、uh, the wild animal trade. If you don't control it, you can get in a big trouble. Now, uh, so uh, actually, the, we、uh, we found the、uh, Chinese two healthy bats as a source in 2005. Two years later, we actually write a summary in the clinical microbiology review, and、uh, on the SARS as an agent of emerging and re-emerging re infection. And in the last paragraph of the conclusion, we say this: the presence of a large reservoir of SARS coronavirus-like viruses in horse bats. Together with the culture of eating exotic mammals in southern China, is a time bomb. The possibility of the emergence of SARS and other novel coronaviruses from animals in laboratories, and therefore the need for preparedness, should not be ignored. So that is a very strong message that we we say. Then we predict that it will come back. If it's because we have the culture of eating exotic animals, and we know that there is a large reservoir in horse bats. So if you Do not、uh, tackle this issue.、Uh, this possibility of emergence、uh, would come, would would be an issue, and therefore you must prepare. And that's the reason why the Department of Microbiology in the University of Hong Kong has been preparing for the last 13 years for the coming back of the SARS、uh, epidemic,、uh, version two, of course, this time. So it's called SARS-CoV-2. 广东话就系即系我哋喺二零零五年揾到中华骨头福就系嗰个。誒病沙士病毒嘅誒最早即係祖先嘅源頭，誒亦我哋相信即係因為佢有一個同沙士都幾相似嘅病毒喺裏面，而且我哋揾到係講緊三十九 percent 誒嘅中環高頭哥係有呢個病毒喺裏面。咁兩年之後，我哋喺呢個
誒、呃、臨牀微生物學嘅誒、呃、回顧呢本誒誒 journal 嗰度，我哋咧就寫咗呢篇回顧嘅文章。最後一段咧，我哋咁寫，我話你話咧，當我哋揾到咁多類沙士嘅冠狀病毒喺呢、這個誒、呃、中環風頭福或者係呢個中華馬蹄福嗰度咧，咁我哋相信咧誒，同、呃、埋我哋誒、呃、南中國有呢個食呢一個野味嘅習慣咧，其實係一個計時炸彈嚟。咁我哋呢，以相信呢，即係呢個三市係會再重臨，我哋應該好好咁預備嘅。咁呢個就係我哋十三年前已經開始預備呢個啊沙士冠狀病毒誒嘅 version two 啊重臨誒嘅基基礎嚟嘅。咁呢呢個就係我哋喺呢一個誒誒《刺、啊、針雜誌》啊呢、這個啊陳福和醫生同埋我哋嘅團隊呢，就係、是、先揾到喺呢個誒深圳。誒、啊、香港大學深圳醫院度第一個家庭群組嘅感染，啊咁呢個係非常緊要嘅，因為香港大學咧喺呢個深圳嗰度有一間醫院，咁而我哋咧、啊、已經喺度工作咗七年，咁啊訓練咗好多內地嘅醫生喺嗰度，咁當有第一批嘅病人係喺武漢翻嚟深圳咧，我哋就即刻捉到，咁當時就係一月十號，今年年頭一月十號，所以呢個香港大學深圳醫院就好似一個。我哋所謂嘅前哨兵誒保護咗香港，因為佢因為呢個發現咧，我哋即刻就通知咗香港政府。咁呢個群組係非常有趣，就係佢哋有一家人，一家七口，有六個人咧就去咗呢個武漢探親，其中兩個人咧就去咗武漢嘅醫院嗰度探親。咁咧而跟住佢就感染咗呢個群組。咁六個人裏面咧有五個受感染。咁跟住佢哋由武漢就飛翻去呢個深圳，咁然後再感染咗另外一個屋企人。咁即係七個人裏面有六個受感染，咁呢個好特別嘅，因為嗰啲老人家當然病得嚴重啲啦，但係啲後生嗰啲基本上呢個病徵同病狀非常之輕微，咁而佢哋唯一一個冇感染呢，係一個細路女嚟，咁佢媽媽就講咗好多次話，個細路女呢，由頭到尾呢，成個過程一路都戴住口罩，而其他另外一個細路仔呢，就個哥哥嚟嘅，十歲就唔肯戴口罩，咁、那、嗰個就受到感染，但係咧佢一啲病徵病狀。咁呢一個嘅群組感染咧，其實已經教咗我哋好多嘢，關於呢個病，就係佢可以喺醫院度啊傳出嚟，佢哋可以喺家庭裏面可以好有效咁傳播，同埋佢可以由一個城市惹去另一個城市，同時啲病人呢，佢哋好多呢，嗰、那個病徵同病狀呢，可以好輕微，甚至一啲病徵病狀都冇，但係呢，居然呢，佢嗰個 CT scan 呢，居然都係有一啲啲磨砂玻璃嘅病變喺裏面。咁所以佢教咗我哋一個病例啫，就已經教識咗我哋好多嘢。咁呢個對我哋香港一早已經提出嚴重級別嘅警告咧，係有非常一個決定性嘅作用喺裏面。Uh, I just want to say that、uh, we saw the first cluster of family outbreak、uh, in the Hong Kong U Shenzhen Hospital, which served as a sentinel to protect Hong Kong. And this、uh, family of seven, six of them have gone to Wuhan to visit their relatives. Two of them go to a Wuhan hospital to visit one of the relatives, and then bring the virus back to the family, which infect five members of the family. And then these six members' family came back to Shenzhen and infect another family member, which had not gone to Wuhan. Now、uh, it shows that the virus can spread、uh, from the hospital into the community in a family setting, and the family then travel from Wuhan. To Shenzhen by flight, leading to an intercity spread, and these are the CT scan of the patients, and you can see that this is typical peripheral multifocal ground glass changes. And in this young boy,、uh, at ten years old, there is a、uh, focus here, and the the patient is completely asymptomatic, no fever, no cough, nothing. And in fact, it's on the insistence of mother uh, uh, who wants us to do a CT scan on him that we found this、uh, patches in the. The chest X-ray to show that the disease can be rather asymptomatic or、uh, very mildly symptomatic, and that、uh, teaches Hong Kong a lot of lesson. And this paper was published in Lancet on the 24th of January. And、uh, <clears throat> you can see that this is what we call phylogenetic tree, and this is the Hong Kong U Shenzhen Hospital SARS-CoV-2、uh, virus, and it clusters very well with the other bad SARS-like coronaviruses. And all these are bad SARS-like coronaviruses, and in one of the branches, the SARS. Uh, coronavirus in two thousand three, so you can see that they are on a different branch. So the the, the, the this is the more of the two thousand three SARS branch, whereas this is more of the two thousand one nine 
COVID-19 branch. Um, it's a version two is not completely SARS, uh, but it is another version of the SARS coronavirus. And uh, I think that illustrates the point that uh, uh, it, it's the 273 SARS uh, version two has been inside the wild animals for a long time. And it somehow, somehow go through the market and finally go through to the human. Uh, uh, I want to say that this is a very important thing. You can see this is the first time in the world. The first time in the world, the DNA is the same. It's from the time of the SARS. It's the same as the other people with the other people. But it's not the SARS. It's 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 the SARS. 二零零三沙士嘅樹幹就喺呢邊，而啊二零一九年嘅沙士就喺呢邊，但係佢哋都係同呢個啊蝙蝠嘅誒個沙士類嘅冠狀病毒咧係好相近嘅。咁所以野生動物應該係今次啊病毒嘅源頭，而多數咧都喺呢個蝙蝠嗰度開始啊。但係經過乜嘢其他嘅野生動物咧？咁其實我哋暫時都唔知嘅。嗱咁講到到最後就係、是、誒、呃、我哋。要控制到個病毒嘅源頭，控制到個病毒嘅傳播，我哋先可以有效控制到佢。但係你點知道邊個引誘個病毒呢？因為我哋正話啦，啱啱講完，有好多病人佢冇病徵或者病狀噶嘛。咁於是，我哋就係一定要攞樣本。咁一向傳統攞樣本嘅方法，就係用呢個鼻咽拭子或者喉嚨拭子。咁呢個係需要有醫生護士先可以進行到嘅。咁然後你就將個拭子咧擺在一個叫做病毒嘅。誒、啊、誒、啊、保護劑裏面，我哋叫 viral transfer medium， 咁然後送去誒實驗室嗰度，通常最快都要幾個誒、啊、接近一個鐘頭，就最最慢啊兩三個鐘頭，你就可以知道。咁但係個問題就係因為你要有醫生護士，咁你嗰啲醫生護士又擔心，即係幫你攞嗰個病毒攞個拭子嘅時候，啊、你要佢擺個拭子入去鼻腔度咧，個刺激係好犀利嘅。咁好多時嘅病人都會打黑黐位咳。咁於是呢，即係對嗰個醫護人員嚟講係有啲危險。咁病人亦都唔鍾意，尤其佢都冇咩病徵病狀嘅時候，你要喺機場或者其他地方攞個鼻咽拭子，佢會反對㗎嘛。咁佢有人權，我哋唔可以逼人㗎嘛。咁第三就係你會開始唔夠拭子啦。咁美國就係唔夠啦。咁我哋香港點解決呢一扎問題呢？就係、是、我哋係用我哋所謂叫深喉唾液，啊唔係口水啊，係深喉唾液，即係喺我哋喉嚨最深嘅地方。係靠吸同埋去，我哋所謂 clear the throat， 啊 gurgle 喺個心喉嗰度 gurgle 出嚟。啊咁，我哋咧通常咧就係叫個病人嗱，我俾個痰啱俾你，啊一個 sputum container。咁我哋通常就叫佢拎翻屋企先，即係佢戴咗，譬如佢入境嘅戴咗口罩，一係拎翻屋企，一係咧就喺酒店嗰度温住。咁佢哋第二朝瞓醒覺，朝頭早一起身第一件事，食早餐之前未攞口之前。佢就喺個喉嚨度噏出嚟，咁啊好多啖啊，講緊起碼五到十啖喺喉嚨嗰度全部噏出嚟。嗱咁點解我哋叫佢咁做呢？咁原因就係因為我哋知道喉嚨呢個位置咧，係一個 meeting point， 係一個聚集點啊。無論係鼻咽嗰度啲分泌咧，因為你瞓喺度嘅時候，佢會向後走啊。我哋所謂 pulse to drip 就係咁嘅意思啦。咁亦都係瞓著覺嗰陣時咧，喺個肺下面嗰啲分泌液咧，就會經嗰啲、啊、我哋。肺部啲細胞嗰啲邊爐啊、斯尼啊，將佢運送上去喉嚨呢個位度。所以第一朝頭早第一啖係最好嘅。咁你於是無論係 upper respiratory tract 啊上呼吸道嘅，或者係下呼吸道嘅，都仍然可以喺喉嚨度吸到出嚟。咁因為呢個痰瘟裏面已經有 viral transfer medium， 有呢個病毒嗰個保護劑喺度。咁你跟住送翻翻嚟，我哋做咧做出嚟嘅效果非常好嘅。即基本上咧嗰、那個。嗰、那個誒敏感度呢，基本上同呢一個用呢個鼻咽拭子一啲分別都冇。有啲人話其實鼻咽拭子出嚟咧仲差啲。但係如果你睇個病毒數量呢，基本上呢，用呢個鼻咽拭子係應該係高一個 l o 嘅。但係呢個已經唔緊要啊，個重點係因為個 test 好 sensitive， 你只要有一粒喺個即係喺你攞嗰、那個誒嗰、呃那個心喉唾液裏面呢，那個 DNA 嗰個 PCR 嗰、那個。誒多聚會連反應咧，都應該可以 detect 到。但係個好處係咩？因為你鼻咽拭子，你只可以擺入去一次就要拎翻出嚟，要太辛苦啊病人。但係調翻轉口水，你即係心喉唾液，你個肚好多啖都得
套到呢，佢真係有喺裏面。咁所以你當你套咗起碼五到十啖生活體液嘅時候呢，佢嗰個敏感度一定唔會差過呢個鼻咽舌治。I just want to say again that、um, taking nasal pharyngeal swab or throat swab need trained medical personnel. And the process of uh, uh, taking the swabs would induce coughing and sneezing, which may pose a danger to the healthcare workers. And the patient feel very uncomfortable, especially when the patient is not having any symptom. They review, refuse the testing, and then you have a problem of supply of the swabs. So how do Hong Kong solve this problem? We ask the patient uh, to uh, take a sputum container back to the quarantine place or the hotel or home、uh, if they are under home quarantine. And then the next morning,、uh, on the first thing on in the morning on awaking before the toothbrushing and breakfast,、uh, they have to、uh, cough out or gurgle out the the secretions around the deep throat, and that is the site where uh, the uh, secretions from the upper and respiratory tract due to the、uh, sleeping position gravitate here, or the、uh, sputum and secretions. That are moved up by serial activity of the tracheal bronchial mucosa into these areas. So, if you can cough and、uh, clearing the throats and、uh, take it out, especially five to ten times, you will always have、uh, enough virus inside these、uh, what we call posterior oral pharyngeal saliva to get a positive test. You, if you are really infected, and that、uh, actually is one of the most important measure that Hong Kong has taken. To ensure that the border is well controlled by testing and also quarantine, and also、uh, now nowadays basically in hospitals and anywhere that in Hong Kong, many many times we just use the posterior oral pharyngeal saliva instead of taking、uh, throat swabs and nasal pharyngeal swab. It's just want to say that、uh, we also do antibody tests, but remember that、uh, these antibody tests have a problem because. The antibody level only start to rise at around day、uh, seven at fastest,、uh, usually around ten to day fourteen days before the IgG and the IgM uh, uh, rise. So, in the first ten to fourteen days,、uh, taking blood for testing is not that useful. And、uh, we already use two types of antigen. One is the internal antigen, what we call the、uh, nuclear protein, and the other is the spike receptor binding domain that I mentioned at the beginning of this coronavirus.、Uh, You can see that all these spike proteins are like the uh, corona, uh, like the uh, sunlight uh, coming out from the sun, or the, the crown, the, 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 the projections of the crown.、Uh, but I, I must say that uh, using uh, serum antibody test is just a supplement to the RT-PCR test. It is not the most important test to do, especially when you are having uh, acute uh, symptoms.、Uh, RT-PCR is still the Uh, test of choice. But I will say again that you will remember that the device that is not covered in the mask has a contact lens. You can see that it has a thin film. We have a YouTube channel called Neutral Protein. The thin film behind this is a thin film called Neutral Receptor Binding Domain. It is a thin film that is passed to the human cells to enter the human cells to cause the virus to spread. 咁我哋用呢兩個蛋白啊嚟做呢個啊血液嘅測試，但係做出嚟咧，我哋發覺話咧，人類血液嘅抗體咧，起碼需要十到十四日先開始上升。咁所以頭嗰十日嘅時候咧，你攞血咧係冇乜用嘅。咁所以大家要明白誒，驗血驗抗體係有作用，不過作用咧就通常喺個急症嘅嘅誒誒誒誒治理病人方面都冇乜幫助。但如果我哋要做 contact tracing 啊，即係追蹤嘅時候咧，呢、这、一個尤其已經個病人已經冇曬病徵病狀咧，呢、这個血清裡面嘅抗體咧係有作用嘅。咁通常佢係需要起碼十四日之後咧，到二十一日咧個抗體先會陽性嘅。嗱，咁呢個另外係另外一個研究，我哋喺香港做咧，係對我哋嚟講係好大嘅啟發嘅。就係、是、我哋有啲病人佢有肺,肺癌咁去做手術。咁、那個肺呢就攞出嚟，咁除咗個肺癌之外，側邊呢有啲係正常嘅肺部組織，我哋就誒誒同佢要求佢可唔可以啊誒俾少少我哋捐俾我哋，我哋去做一個叫做 ex vivo lung tissue e x p a n d culture， 就係我哋所謂嘅體外誒嘅組織嘅誒培植。咁喺個個我哋嘅組織培植個過程，我哋將佢切到好細片、好細片，然後擺咗個 SARS-CoV-2 呢個病毒喺裏面。
比較喺二零零三年沙士，我哋發覺原來呢個病毒呢，佢刺激呢一個我哋身體免疫反應係好差嘅。咁呢個我哋叫做 beta interferon， 就係 beta 嘅干擾素。你要發覺呢，沙士冠狀病毒刺激製造、刺激嗰啲細胞去製造呢個 beta 誒誒個誒干擾素呢，係高過呢個 SARS-CoV-2 即係 COVID-19 嘅 virus 啊，多好多。咁證明到呢個病毒呢，呢、这個 SARS-CoV-2 今次呢個病毒呢，個特點就係佢能夠抑制到我哋細胞嗰個啊所謂叫做誒原始嘅免疫反應 （innate immune response）。係完完全嗰個誒刺激係好少好少，除咗呢個啊 IL-6 咧，係可能會係多少少啫，全部都係低嘅。咁呢個就解釋得到一個好重要現象。就呢、是、個病毒呢，開頭嘅病徵病仲係好輕微，因為個炎症反應好少，個干擾發射反應又好少，以致個病毒可以大量咁繁殖，以致呢個病人一開始咧，個病毒嘅數量呢已經係最高。你睇返，啊，咁你睇見就係嗰呢個就係病毒嘅載量個 viral load， 所以 you can see the viral load is maximal in the beginning at the time of presentation。And why? So it's because the virus actually markedly suppressed。The interferon response and the inflammatory response, so that、uh, the virus can go to a very high amount, and the patient have very small amount of symptoms because the inflammatory response was also suppressed. 咁所以我哋喺呢度解釋到，啊點解個病人會放咁多病毒出嚟？啊，因為佢沙士嗰陣時，佢個病毒咧係去到由個病由開始發燒，去到第十日咧個病毒載量先最高。今次唔係，一開始已經係最高。咁於是你根本就唔夠時間去隔離個病人，以致個病毒咧可以受到啊阻止到佢誒散出。So in in other words, because of the suppression of the interferon response and also the inflammatory response, the patient had not much symptoms, and the viral load peaked very early on. Instead of、uh, to two zero zero three SARS, where the viral load peaked at around day ten after symptom onset, and that is very bad because isolation and quarantine. Is not as helpful as in the case of SARS in 2003. Now, one more insight from this study is that we know that interferon beta would be very important、uh, treatment measure because it is the interferon beta that jump started in new system to respond. And if we can replace the interferon beta, it may be a very good form of treatment for this、uh, COVID-19 patients. This this study is、uh, is performed very early on in February. Uh, on uh, returnees from the Diamond Princess cruise,、uh, as you may know, that、uh, during the Chinese New Year,、uh, many of the the Hong Kong、uh, tourists were、uh, traveling on the Diamond Princess cruise、uh, around Southeast Asia. It, the, the cruise actually started from Yokohama,、uh, where there was one of the index case from Hong Kong. In fact, actually boarded the Yokohama、uh, the cruise in Yokohama. And he was、uh, carrying the COVID-19,、uh, and、um, already spreading the virus in the cruise.、Uh, by the time that the boat actually reached Hong Kong、uh, on the first of Feb, the,、uh, the the passengers, the index case, actually was so sick that he has to、uh, get off the boat,、uh, and was subsequently confirmed to be、uh, infected with SARS、uh, coronavirus too、uh, in Princess Margaret Hospital.、Uh, whereas at that time.、Uh, Hundreds of、uh, Hong Kong tourists boarded the the cruise in Hong Kong,、uh, and then uh, subsequently uh, traveled to Southeast Asia, and then ended up back in Yokohama in、uh, on the on the fifth of Feb.、Uh, upon arrival, uh, the uh, already they are knowing that there is an outbreak occurring on the cruise, and that the Japanese health ministry has performed a screening test for all the passengers. Uh, between the seventh and the seventeenth of Feb,、uh, by using a、uh, throw swab,、uh, and subsequently detected uh, around six uh, around hundreds of patients uh, have been uh, uh, infected with the COVID-19.、Um, by the time of the the seventeenth of Feb, the、uh, the Japanese、uh, health ministry、uh, decided to allow government from various countries to.、Uh, Airlifted uh, the uh, stranded passengers who was tested negative to go back to their own countries. 
So uh, in Hong Kong, the Hong Kong government uh, chartered two flights uh, to, to pick up these uh, uh, returnees, healthy returnees, back to Hong Kong. Uh, nevertheless, uh, when these returnees returned to Hong Kong, we decided to perform our own screening tests uh, by visiting them because they were, they were actually quarantined as a, in a public estate, an empty public estate at the junior estate uh, in Hong Kong for 14 days. So upon arrival, we decided to screen them to make sure that they are, they are actually negative uh, from the SARS-CoV-2. So the, at the end, we, dis, uh, we, we, we went there uh, for uh, several days at intervals at the baseline, uh, and then every four days till the end on the 12th day uh, to screen them by performing a nasal swab, a nasal pharyngeal swab, uh, a saliva testing, uh, and also doing a, a doing a taking blood for uh, for serology, uh, and and from these uh, 300, uh, 200 odd patients, we were able to find ten patients, uh, including one child and nine adults, uh, to have been in fact infected by the uh, SARS coronavirus two, uh, but had not been detected uh, while they were in Japan, uh, and from these nine individuals. Uh, three of them were symptomatic uh, from the adults, six of them were uh, asymptomatic, meaning that one uh, symptomatic patient behind, uh, there were two asymptomatic individuals. Uh, and that basically, this study suggests that there are many silent and mild cases spreading the virus, uh, and that the, the cruise, the, the, the princess cruise is like a microsome that uh, allowing the uh, uh, mimic that of a uh, a, a community outbreak that's currently happening uh, all over, around the world. Uh, and that's why this uh, study is very important in that uh, it's important to stop these uh, silent uh, patients or silent uh, asymptomatic patients from spreading the virus. Uh, and that's the, the testing by doing a, uh, a, a, a viral load testing in the, uh, uh, either the uh, throat saliva and also the nasal swab is, uh, to, together with serology is important for case identification and also contact tracing. Then, if we use Chinese, a simple explanation is that in this study, in our Chinese Princess Cruise Hotel, in the summer of 2020, 所以很多香港和全世界很多人都是去了日本去上了一隻遊輪就是鑽石公主號包括是一個帶有冠狀新冠病毒的病人包括是在香港就飛了去日本就在約克哈曼那裡就上了這隻船後來後到二十一號剛
。咁喺呢段時候咧，其實就誒亦都容許咧，全世界唔同嘅政府咧係可以咧係派去飛機咧去接翻呢一啲嘅旅客翻去誒佢哋嘅誒嘅即係即係國家。咁香港咧就當其時香港政府咧就派咗兩架嘅包機咧，就係將呢啲件即係誒陰性冇感染嘅誒嘅旅客咧。就係、是、送翻香港。咁由於我哋誒擔心咧，其實嗰個有機會咧，係其實呢啲病人咧仲係感染誒有機會感染咗呢個新冠肺炎。咁所以咧，我哋就誒誒、呃，當佢哋嚟到誒翻到香港，係進入嗰個兩星期嘅強制隔離，係一個誒、呃、一個誒誒、呃、一個誒嘅喺進陽村，即係一個空置咗，即係暫時新嘅，但係空置嘅一個誒誒誒，即係嘅誒。嘅屋村嗰度咧嘅時候咧，我哋就、呃、去為佢哋咧進行做一個即係快速測試啦，就同埋咧係抽佢哋血咧睇佢哋嘅即係抗體。咁喺呢二百幾個誒嘅、呃、隔離嘅人士當中咧，我哋最後咧就發現咗有、呃、十位嘅人士，包括九個成年人同埋一個係誒兒童咧，係、呃、其實咧係感染咗係帶有呢啲病、呃、新冠病毒，但係咧喺日本咧係冇發現到，就俾佢翻咗嚟。咁呢啲誒喺呢一誒十個病人入面咧，喺九個嘅成人入面咧，有三個咧係有病，曾經有病徵，或者你翻到嚟嘅時候有病徵。另外六位咧其實係冇病徵嘅。咁所以個研究就顯示到咧，其實喺一個有病徵嘅人士方面咧，其實背後有機會係有兩個冇病徵嘅嘅病人。咁亦都我哋發覺咧，用呢、這、一個誒誒誒抗體嘅測試啦。同埋呢一個嘅即係誒誒誒鼻煙，或者係用呢一個口水嘅病毒嘅測試咧，係可以好準確咧，係誒做到一啲嘅誒 contact tracing 接觸者嘅即係誒跟進啦，同埋亦都可以 identify 到一啲即係揾到呢啲嘅誒確診嘅個案，就算佢冇病症。咁呢、這個呢、這個研究好重要，對於係一個即係誒我哋講緊係誒希望咧，係令到誒更加顯示到咧。喺一啲冇病徵嘅病人咧，如果我哋可以及早係誒誒揾到佢哋嘅即係身上帶有病毒啊，同埋佢有抗體咧，誒確診到就可以盡快進行呢個隔離同埋診治。咁對於呢個感染控制係非常之重要嘅。誒咁呢個個 article 其實之後我哋都係嚟緊啦，係喺 Lancet IT 就會係 publish。因為我哋有咁多呢啲即係小金，即係咁輕微病徵病狀，甚至冇病徵病狀嘅病人咧。你點控制到佢咧？因為佢甚至未必會嚟 testing 啊，佢未必會覺得自己有需要去接受測試。咁嗱，大家都睇到就係香港喺呢度，即係呢度就係究竟我哋每笪地方有幾多個確診個案，每一百萬人。咁你睇見即係香港係好好係好低好低。咁其實我哋點解我哋香港可以能夠啊，即係咁少病例咧？咁我哋相信就係因為我哋控制咗啲。係冇病徵病狀，但其實係繼續緊個傳播鏈，即、就、係、是、能夠繼續 drive 到個傳播鏈嗰啲嗰啲病人，係佢完全唔知自己有事。咁而我哋香港朝頭早咧，如果翻工嘅時候，你睇到咧喺街上面九十 percent 嘅香港市民咧都係戴緊口罩。咁因為我哋知道，如果你戴口罩，你放就算你真係感染咗，你放出嚟嘅病毒一定減少咗。咁而我哋香港嘅做法咧，同其他國家根本一啲分別都冇。所有國家都係控制邊境，做大量嘅測試同埋去隔離誒陽性嘅病人，做大量嘅誒接觸緊啊接觸者嗰個追蹤同埋去隔離嗰啲誒接觸者。咁仲有就係我哋所謂 social distancing， 即係增加社交距離。全世界都係用翻呢啲，但香港最大嘅特點啊，台灣都係啦，呢、這個南誒、啊、南韓都係啦，日本都有啲咧，就係、是、我哋嗰個戴口罩嗰、那個。啊啊！遵從性係非常強，咁我呢個我相信就係係最緊要。咁我哋已經係喺 journal infection publish 咗，即係我哋嗰、那個啊揾到嘅結果。啊，下一張唔該。I just want to say that every country is using border control. 啊、uh, ，case 啊、uh, ，extensive testing， 啊、uh, ，case isolation， 啊、uh, ，contact tracing， 啊、uh,。Quarantine of context, social distancing. But one thing that Hong Kong、uh, uses, which is different from all the other countries,、uh, except Taiwan,、uh, South Korea, and perhaps a little bit Japan, is that we all wear masks. Ninety-seven percent compliance, and you can see that 
Uh, the cumulative number of cases, uh, we are the, the, one of the lowest in the world uh, in terms of million per population. And at the same time, the number of deaths in Hong Kong, we are talking about 0.4% uh, overall the fruit fatality rate. Uh, the fruit fatality rate now the globally is around 67%. So we are much, much lower, 10, at least 10 times or 15 times lower. And uh, I think the most important reason is universal or community-wide masking. And no matter what type of mask, as long as the mask can reduce the amount of uh, respiratory droplets and saliva from coming out from your mouth uh, to uh, contaminate the surrounding and your hands, then the chance that the virus is being transmitted is much lower. And that is in addition to the prevention of uh, coming out of droplets. But we are in Hong Kong, we are 97% of the people who are in the world. I believe that the death rate is so high. 基本上都是全世界最低的三個地方來的 uh, So this is just to want to show you that in Hong Kong uh, if you look at the number of local cases related to mass off activity Now remember for Hong Kong uh, the 60% of cases are imported only around 40% are local cases and among these local cases that ha are, have cluster outbreaks I mean clusters of cases this is around 103, 113 cases all these are related to mass of activity like religious activity, dining, drinking, restaurants, bars, singing, uh, karaoke, and exercise in uh, fitness club, etc. Whereas the number of local cases related to mass on settings like workplace is only 11. So just a few clusters, 11 uh, cases. And in fact, when we asked these people, they did not wear a mask in the workplace, all right? So they are non compliant cases. So you can see that actually, uh, the, the mask off is dangerous. If you are mask on, it's much safer. Maybe related to decrease in the, the dissemination of respiratory droplets, and more likely is that the saliva and droplets on your hands and surroundings is much lower. So the chance of it spreading to other people is lower. And, and now we are advocating something uh, that Hong Kong is now trying to do. It's personalized, reusable epidemic combat kit. So we hope that we can use self-disinfecting fabrics uh, for filter masks, face shield, outer gun cover, glove for touching device, and durable hand disinfectant. I think that is important for the whole world, for everybody in this world, because we know that our population is exploding. Uh, emerging infectious disease is not going to go away. You have yearly seasonal flu. And what is better than a personalized, reusable epidemic combat kit when these uh, uh, outbreak starts? Uh, uh, 我再說一次就是在香港來說 走廊,或者是卡拉OK,或者是去那些fitness 那現在我們香港就希望有一天每個市民都有一個所謂抗疫症的個人的裝置 Dong 你看見如果我們將一些金毛鼠它很快不死 
公用佢之後，佢只係體重下降，到最後佢都好翻。我哋攞佢哋血清，俾另外一隻金毛鼠係未,未,未受感染嘅。咁然後我哋再公讀實驗，再做一次，你發覺咧個肺部咧嗰、那個病毒嘅索續載量咧係減咗十倍。咁證明咧呢、这個用呢、这、一個、呃呃、恢復期嘅血清，即係有呢個中和抗體嘅血清咧，係對呢個沙士冠狀病毒都應該有效。I just want to say that we have already established a small mammal model using the siren hamster for testing and antivirals and vaccine. You can see that uh, we instilled the SARS-CoV-2 virus into the nasal cavity, going down to the lung, leading to pneumonia. All this consolidation in pneumonia can be so severe that there is bleeding inside the lung. Uh, but fortunately, most uh, hamsters did not die, but they have weight loss around 10%, and that is very important. And uh, if we Uh, give the convalescent serum containing neutralizing antibody from a recovered hamster to a new hamster, and then followed by a virus challenge. You can see that for the, uh, the uh, those who receive a convalescent plasma, the viral load is around 10 times less. All right. So in the lung and also in the nasal turbinate, we show the convalescent plasma or serum containing neutralizing antibody could be useful in the treatment or prophylaxis. Of this COVID-19 infection, so this is the isolated inside our bar city laboratory tree. So the the go sun ma on chin sang tap sang sang. So we manipulate uh, the hamsters inside the isolator through these gloves, and inside this you can see that there is a box here, and this is a box. Inside actually there are uh, many cages, and uh, each system the air is uh, completely sealed off. So the air up here would not go down to the Second floor, or the, uh, the, the, the those from the ground floor would not go up to the first floor and of the, the second floor. So all the air, the only the air between this cage and this cage uh, are exchangeable. Now, and there is a fan here, which makes sure the air only flow in one direction, from here to here, from here to here. Now, so the hamster here are infected; they have been challenged with the virus. And uh, the, the hamster over these three cages are healthy hamster and not being infected. Now, so within here, the uh, hamster, uh, whether the virus would go from here to here, can only by non-contact transmission. So uh, only the air can carry droplets or airborne aerosol across, uh, whereas they can't get the virus by contact. And that is an important point. We know to know whether uh, uh, non-contact transmission by airborne droplets or aerosol particles can happen. Now we also try to do one more experiment: is to use the surgical mask. So we put the surgical mask on here, either uh, with the blue side, either facing uh, the virus ch challenge, uh, virus infected hamster on this side, uh, to protect the healthy hamster on this side, or the reverse, the blue on the other side. Which means that we are stopping the infected hamsters from sharing the virus instead of. Uh, Preventing the hamsters here from getting the virus uh, by protecting itself. Now, so that is a very interesting experiment. We want to know whether the mask is useful for preventing uh, respiratory problems or airborne aerosols. At the same time, we want to know whether the infected using the mask is better or the uninfected using the mask is better. So, I want to say that this is the case. 啊、我哋嘅生物安全三級成實，你見見到呢個叫 isolator， 裡面嘅空氣咧同外面係完全冇接觸嘅。咁我哋去搞啲金毛鼠咧，係經呢啲手套咁去搞裡面呢個箱裡面嗰啲金毛鼠。咁呢個箱裡面咧有三層嘅，咁誒裡面呢三層嘅空氣咧完全係冇誒誒唔可以互互相流通嘅，能夠流通只係由呢邊流通去呢邊，由呢邊去嗰邊，由呢邊去嗰邊。咁喺呢邊啲箱裡面呢啲金毛鼠咧已經係。係感染咗嘅，係已經攻咗毒㗎啦。咁呢啲金毛鼠就係健康嘅，係冇攻毒嘅。咁空氣因為只可以向呢邊流咧，而嗰啲金毛鼠亦都冇接觸咧。如果呢邊啲金毛鼠咧係感染到咧，一定係因為空氣將嗰、那個誒誒飛沫或者係個誒空氣裏面最細嗰啲微微微粒咧，係帶過去呢邊嘅金毛鼠咧先受感染。咁同時我哋亦都咧係喺。啊、一部分嘅、啊、譬如呢度係完全冇啊呢、這個外科口罩阻隔嘅，但係我哋可以擺個外科口罩喺度、啊，密封咗佢
，以致呢啲空氣係受到呢個過濾嘅。咁我哋想知道究竟係嗰啲感染咗金毛鼠，戴咗口罩喺度啊，其實唔係真係戴口罩，係用一個 partition 啊，有呢個有個阻隔，用呢個外科口罩阻隔佢有效啲啊。因為調翻轉嚟，嗰啲冇感染到金毛鼠啊，有呢個外科口罩個阻隔有效啲，去阻止呢個發生呢。咁呢個實驗就好有趣啦！嗱，咁個實驗就係喺度解一次、就是，就係我哋一邊呢邊擺三三隻，呢邊只擺一隻嘅啫。即係話呢，感染嘅得一隻，誒、啊、即、啊、係、就是、健康嘅有三隻喺度。咁唔同時間呢，我哋就會拎佢出嚟啊，劏咗佢誒，去睇佢條肺部究竟有冇感染到個病毒載量係幾多，佢嗰個發炎有幾嚴重。咁我哋喺唔同嘅時間就。啊！呢、这個實驗咧係七日之後先至完成嘅。啊、uh, ，so what we did is we house、uh, the infected、um, hamster on one side and another three healthy on the other side. So the experiment has been repeated a few times, and at different times we sacrifice the hamsters and look at their lungs for inflammation and also the viral load. And of course, daily we would observe their behaviour, their feeding,、uh, and give a clinical score to look at the severity of disease. 係咁，呢、这個又係另外一個實驗。咁另外一個實驗就係喺嗰個金毛鼠嘅一邊戴嘅口罩，即係嗰啲感染咗個戴嘅口罩。啊，個實驗完全一樣，但係喺感染嗰邊睇下感染嗰邊戴口罩有效啲啊。啊，呢、这個就係喺誒健康嗰邊戴嘅口罩。啊，睇邊邊嘅 protection 好啲啊。啊 ，so we are having a mass partition on the healthy side instead of on the infected side。OK， 咁啊，實驗嘅結果就係你睇到就係、是。如果你咩嘢都唔戴呢，啊、完全冇戴口罩呢，即係冇呢個 partition 咧，冇呢個阻隔呢，係三分二嘅金毛鼠呢係感染到。但如果你喺嗰個感染咗嗰邊戴口罩呢，個有效率呢係去到減咗好多，係減到十二隻裏面得兩隻感染到，啊十六點七 percent 係減咗好多，講緊係 fifty percent reduction a l s t a l right？ 咁如果你調返轉嚟係誒健康嗰邊戴口罩點呢？就只係可以減到一半啫，就六啊六點七 percent 減到三啊三點三 percent。咁誒，你如果兩個就咁夾埋咧，啊仍然係 significantly different， 就係即係廿四隻裏邊，是但一邊戴口罩咧，只係得六隻感染啦。咁呢個實驗咧就係話俾我聽，雖然佢哋唔係人嚟嘅，佢哋都冇戴口罩，只係佢哋嘅龍之間有嗰個口罩嘅 partition。但係我哋都好清楚證明，應該戴口罩咧，如果正確咁戴咧，應該係對人類都應該係有幫助。Uh, so I just want to say that、um, if you do not mask any of the hamsters、uh, by using a partition, then uh, uh, 67% of them would be infected. So 10 out of 15. But if you mask it on the uh, uh, infected side, the index, the naive the mice would only have 67% uh, infected, which is a 50% reduction from 66.7%. And if you mask it Uh, on the, the naive side, which is the non-infected healthy hamster side, you still have a fifty percent reduction from sixty-six to thirty-three point three percent, which is four out of twelve. So, if you are calculating it on masking the naive side, you have uh, still uh, a drop from sixty-six point seven percent to twenty-five percent, and that shows that uh, masking uh, in this hamster setting uh, is useful, and we believe that.、Uh, It shows that the chance is that in human the same would apply. Remember, these、uh, mass hamsters、uh, by partition in the cages are exposed for seven days, so actually very close contact for seven days while wearing this、uh, surgical mass partition. And I think that is a very important experiment to show that what has been done by universal masking、uh, from on both sides, so the、uh, non-infected side and the infected side together, should be the best measure. Uh, for tackling this epidemic, especially for reopening、uh, of、uh, resumption of the normal activities. So this is just to show the clinical score, which shows again that of course those unmasked have a worse clinical scores, where those are masked have a better clinical score.、Uh, 我哋只係想講咧，就係如果啲金毛鼠如果佢完全冇用呢一個誒外科口罩嘅阻隔嘅話咧，佢哋病得特別重啲嘅。但係如果有嘅話咧，就算佢感染咗咧，佢哋嗰個誒誒臨牀嗰個誒病病狀病徵咧，都係冇咁差嘅。誒、啊、誒，我哋相信呢個係因為佢就算係感染到，佢哋
，所得到嗰個病毒嘅數量都係會低咗、啊。所以戴口罩就算你又感染咗都好啦，應該個病徵病仲係輕微啲，因為你攞到嘅病毒數量開頭咧係低啲，你個免疫反應可能因為咁咧嗰個、啊、免疫反應嗰、那個、啊啊、suppression 嘅 immunosuppression 嗰、那個叫咩啊？嗰、那個嘅抑制個抑制咧係應該會少啲，以致咧。嗰、那個病情係會好啲嘅。咁呢個只係話俾大家聽，就係、是、我哋劏開佢肺部嗰個感染嘅情況。如果你咩都唔誒冇帶嘅嗰個嗰、那個金毛鼠個肺部嗰個炎肺炎啊，但係個氣管個肺炎好厲害。而調翻轉嗰啲啊帶咗嗰啲，尤其咧就係冇咁冇咁嚴重。啊 ，so just want to show that the inflammation is more severe on the challenge hamster, and those who have taken a mass partition, they are usually much less severe. Uh, this is just to show the amount of viral antigen inside the lung. So the apple green fluorescence is the viral antigen. Of course, for the uh, infected uh, challenge, uh, temps is very severe. Whereas those especially who are masked, uh, is um, the amount of antigen is much less. Ah, this is why the virus of the Kongyu's sample, ah, these blue ones, ah, in those ah, not completely, just like that, contagious ones, are very serious. Ah, ah, now these are masked. 口罩嗰啲或者係有啲 expose， 不過咧就誒唔係直接攻毒嗰啲咧，個嚴重性係低好多嘅。好啦，呢、这個俾翻阿孔孔教授。So um uh very early on in 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 January, in fact, uh, once uh, Professor Yuan and I uh is was aware of the outbreak in Wuhan, we uh, designed a、uh, clinical trial uh based on the uh The findings that we have、uh, from SARS in 2003,、uh, and also subsequently in MERS,、uh, in SARS in 2003, we actually,、uh, towards the end of the epidemic, then uh, doctors uh, Ju and Sam、uh, Ju and、uh, our team actually、uh, was able to find that using the、uh, ponovir ritonovir, which is Calitra, in treating protease inhibitors for HIV,、uh, together with ribavirin,、uh, we are able to. Reduce the、uh, in terms of the complication ARDS and also mortality in treating patient、uh, with SARS by this combination、uh, compared to historical control,、uh, and also based on the study from the, Dr. Jasper Chen、uh, on the Marmoset model, which is the South American、uh, monkey model,、uh, we're able to find that by using、uh, either with the Calitra or using the interferon beta one B. Was able to、uh, basically uh, uh, again suppress the viral load、uh, of MERS、uh, and also improve the survival and also the lung complications、uh, in the Marmoset model.、Um, as a result, we decided to repurpose、uh, and use this combination of using interferon beta one B,、uh, Calitra, and ribavirin in treatment of patients with COVID nineteen,、uh, and. We use this as a triple combination arm,、uh, comparing this to a single arm,、uh, a, sing a single drug arm by using just Calitra、uh, in these、uh, patients come,、uh, come down with COVID-19. And this study was performed in, together with uh, uh, seven, six other、uh, public hospital in Hong Kong.、Uh, at the end of the, the day, we were able to recruit 127 patients.、Uh, from that.、Uh, Basically, uh, 80, uh, 87 of these,、uh, 85 of these patients,、uh, sorry, 86 of these patients、uh, were found、uh, were in the triple combination arm, and then 41、uh, of, the, of these patients were in the、uh, in the control arm, which is just a single Calitra group.、Uh, and、uh, by comparing these two groups,、uh, we find that basically patients who are randomized to the triple combination group、uh, had a much quicker Uh, Time to negative of the nasal pharyngeal swab for、uh, for the SARS coronavirus two、uh, of four day of four days、uh, of sorry of five days comparing to that of the seven days、uh, in that of the using a single drugs、uh, and also that of the symptom improvement in terms of new score of reaching zero、uh, was four days compared to eight days、uh, of the single arm.、Uh, This is slightly complicated because we are aware of the problem of interferon beta one B may give rise to a uh, pro uh, of so-called pro-inflammatory effect, uh, 
Uh, and as a result, with the, within the treatment arm, there is a subgroup that for patients who were admitted seven days or beyond from symptom onset, uh, these patients will only receive the uh, Kaletra and ribavirin without the interferon. Uh, so within the subgroup analysis, we were able to compare patients who have received the triple combination within seven days, comparing that to, to those patients who have received the, uh, just the Kaletra. Uh, and we find that again, it was very significant in terms of the nasopharyngeal swap turning negative uh, and also the alleviation, clinical alleviation uh, for, of using the new score as compared to the uh, single, arm, uh, single drug control group. Uh, whereas comparing those who are submitted seven days or beyond by using the Kaletra and Ribavirin, with that, by, uh, with the single drug, just Kaletra, there were no difference between the two groups. Uh, as a result, we thought basically this, the, in conclusion, uh, this study implicating that if you are able to start the treatment early on from symptom onset, uh, because the cold group basically was started uh, in median days with five days from symptom onset, starting the drugs. If you're able to have an early treatment by using the triple combination, uh, we were able to basically suppress the viral load and also in, uh, have a clinical improvement uh, in patients coming down with COVID-19. Uh, and, and also the, the results suggest that the interferon beta 1b is the backbone of the triple combination. Uh, nevertheless, we only have mild and moderate symptom cases in this study uh, because uh, we were uh, in Hong Kong, there were very few severe cases, probably because of the early treatment with the triple combination that were given to the patient. And as a result, uh, not many patients uh, actually was, uh, was severe and required intensive care. Uh, in fact, out of the thousand uh, confirmed cases, less than 3% of these patients uh, were admitted to intensive care and the mortality was less than 0.4% overall. Um, and also that this uh, result correlated with the findings from, uh, uh, from our previous study published in CID uh, about the, uh, uh, the SARS-CoV-2 is able to suppress the innate immunity and also the interferon uh, as, as secretion uh, and thereby allowing the virus to replicate very rapidly. Uh, and again, it was a, a similar result being found in a recent journal published in the cell uh, from the Mount Sinai group in New York. Uh, and just recently published, and also finding that the interferon uh, uh, secretion was also uh, a response also impaired uh, in, in, in another cohort in, in, in New York. Uh, 肝扰素、蛋白酶抑制剂和这个三元疗法 原的一個動物的研究 Lamchong 當中來說,我們發覺是 
、呃、病人咧，係嗰、那個、呃、再病、呃、病毒陰轉陰嘅時間咧，係大大縮短咗，係去到係講緊係誒五日嘅時間咧，就、呃、compare with 如果單一用呢個蛋白抑制，真係七日。咁而佢嗰個病徵嘅誒誒減輕，即係用 New Score 去到零嘅話呢亦都係大大縮短咗，係誒四日誒，得而用單一用呢一個誒蛋白酶抑制劑係八日。咁誒，另外呢，又係誒要留意呢就係因為我哋呢誒原本咧係比較擔心呢嗰個三聯療法係用呢個干擾素嘅時候呢，有機會係引致到一個即係炎症嘅情況。咁所以呢。所有係七日或打後入院嘅人，誒由呢個病徵開始入誒入院嘅人士咧，我哋就係誒冇用到呢個干擾素嘅。咁所以咧喺一個我哋叫 sub group 嘅比較裏面咧，就係、是、發覺如果係七日以內由病徵開始用藥嘅，用咗三元療法嘅嘅病人咧，嘅五十二個咧，係同一個即係、就是、control 啱，淨係用咗單一。誒用呢個蛋白酶抑制劑二十四個病人呢，我哋發覺佢嗰個病毒嘅誒抑壓啦，以至到係嗰個誒病徵嘅好轉呢，都係大大縮短咁反而呢，係如果淨係用呢一個誒誒蛋白酶抑制劑同埋呢一個誒利巴韋林嗰個誒相聯嘅療法，同埋單一用呢個蛋白酶抑制劑嗰兩個組別呢，誒就反而係冇誒呢個大嘅分別嘅。咁所以嗰個研究最後嗰個得出嚟嘅結果咧，就係話，如果我哋可以喺病人喺，尤其是係喺佢病發一星期以內就用藥嘅話咧，用呢一個即係嘅三元嘅療法咧，係可以咧係大大縮短嗰個病人嘅嘅嘅嘅病徵啦，誒同誒嘅嘅時間啦，誒、呃、臨床嘅好轉啦，同埋咧係令到佢誒個病毒咧係轉陰嘅時間係大大縮短。咁呢、這個咧就係、是。誒，亦都顯示咗呢個研究呢係誒嗰個干擾素，即係 interferon beta one b 呢係成個治療嘅三聯療法嗰個嘅嘅嘅嘅資格個重點嚇個骨幹。咁所以呢，誒，亦都係誒正正呢係同我哋之前嗰個誒誒喺誒動物嘅研究喺 CID publish 嘅嗰個呢個新冠肺炎嘅病毒呢係可以抑壓到嗰個病人嗰個干擾素嘅反應，誒係係正正不謀而合。咁亦都係同最近喺 cell 另一個嘅研究呢係喺紐約嘅孟山尼嘅一個研究呢亦都係顯示咗誒呢個病毒呢係可以抑壓到誒病人嗰個嘅干擾素嘅嘅反應，咁從而呢，誒證實到，亦都係我哋呢個用呢個嘅療法呢係可以呢係誒幫到個病人係盡快康復。咁當然呢，呢個個問題就係我哋個研究呢係誒暫時只係誒。包括咗一啲誒輕症同埋中度嘅病人，咁係誒好少重症嘅病人嘅。咁誒全個香港講緊嚟講係一千個病人確診咧，其實係誒我哋要需要深切治療部或者巢後嘅用呼吸機嘅病人咧，係少於三個 percent 嘅，即係少於三十人。誒而嗰個誒誒死亡率咧，亦都係只有四位病人，即係係少於誒零點四個 percent。咁所以整體嚟講咧，其實可能就因為嗰、那個誒。呃及早隔離同埋治療咧，係令到我哋、呃、香港整體嚟講咧，係好少一啲重症嘅病人。咁之後，我哋希望可能呢個研究可以需要希望可以伸延到一啲重症嘅病人，睇下呢一個嘅療法咧係有冇效嘅。We know that on、uh, January t w e l t you went to Wuhan as a special delegation to investigate, right? And then subsequently you went to Beijing and gave a report. But when you were there was、um, there was something floating in the internet, and I want to clarify with you、uh, that、uh, what is floating in the internet are people saying that、um, in Wuhan that they were able to bring the、um, infection under control very nicely because that part of it is using traditional Chinese medicine, and then they proceed to give. This listing of the dosing of the Chinese medicine for you know when the patients less ill, more ill, and so on, and so, and they attributed the success of Wuhan controlling the、um, epidemic at that time to a large part the use of traditional Chinese medicine. Now you were in Wuhan, and you were touring the the seafood markets and. Visiting hospitals, probably, and so did you see? Did you see traditional Chinese medicine playing a 
large role in the control of the coronavirus uh, infection. I will say that uh, they did tell me the, the TCM regimen that they are using for the patients, but I have not seen the data, so comparative data of those who are using TCM and those who are not using TCM, I haven't seen it. They did tell us there are at least three to four different regimen during different stage of disease that they will be using for the patients. Uh, but how, I mean, how does it contribute to the outcomes of patients? They have not been presented to us. And I think at that stage in time, they probably don't have the data. You now, so I, I, I can't comment on whether TCM is working or not. I can only say that in Hong Kong, we have not used any TCM, while our mortality is very, very low. So you doesn't need uh, uh, to do this. Uh, all we have is early, uh, early admission to the hospital, early assessment by doctor, early respiratory support, and early enrollment into any viral clinical trial, uh, treatment trial. That's all that we have uh, in Hong Kong at this stage in time. I know that a lot of traditional Chinese medicine contains steroids. Is that your understanding as well? I don't think uh, the traditional Chinese medicine contains steroids at all. Um, <clears throat> it is unlike those uh, four the fake sort of TCM medicine that are made in the tablets and powder. So those uh, tablets and powders many a times uh, by those illegal uh, uh, sort of uh, manufacturer, they, they mm -hmm. put steroid and even the non-steroidal anti-agent. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but that, that I think makes the, sense. Regimen, the regimen that is used in Wuhan, they are being boiled, they are really portioned that being boiled by the hospital given to the patients. I don't think they, they contain steroid at all. Only the illegally bought ones. Yeah, only the illegally bought ones. But I, I, I personally think that uh, there are still, they use quite a bit of steroid in, <laughs> for those uh, the patients that go in the cytokine storm. Uh, and and I, I think that may be wrong. Perhaps yeah. the, the, the most important uh, um, measure during the cytokine storm is to use the IL-6 receptor antagonist instead of using steroid, which is a form of very potent and pen suppression of the immune system, which actually lead to the loss of control of the viral load, and, and that is a bad thing. I, I think uh, Professor Ivan Hong would like to comment on this. Uh, why, what do we do during the psychoscience talk? Um, well, I think the most important thing is, is early, early antiviral treatment to prevent the cytokine storm from happening in the second week. Mm -hmm. Uh, and if, unfortunately, there are still uh, patients who are admitted in the later stage in their disease. Uh, and as a result, for these late presenters, uh, some of them uh, will require intensive care and also have a uh, pretty severe pneumonitis. Um, in these patients, uh, of course, we found that the interleukin-6 level are high uh, and that we have been trying in using the interleukin-6 uh, suppresses the uh, antagonist, the biologics, uh, the tesulizumab in these patients, uh, and with, with some uh, good response. Uh, but, the, uh, but the Achilles, Achilles heels in uh, using tesulizumab is that we find that this patient actually improved very quickly for maybe for three or four days. Uh, but if you were not able to suppress the viral load yeah. at the same time, uh, these patients will have a very rapid relapse of the disease in that the, the lung will become uh, consolidated again in very short, short period of time if you are not able to control the, anti, uh, the, the virus. So the trick perhaps is to give the tesalusumab together with an effective antiviral, uh, for example, uh, you know, interferon or maybe uh, remdesivir, some kind of very uh, relatively potent antiviral at the same time with the tesalusumab. Then it will probably uh, be very effective. Uh, the other way, of course, is to use convalescent plasma, which we have tried on, uh, which we have harvested from a few of our, our, uh, our convalescent patients uh, and gave it to two patients in the ITIS ICU with very good effect. Uh, in fact, uh, both patients in the ICU were, uh, was responded very well. Uh, with a, One of them is a patient on, uh, with a history of diffuse large B-cell lymphoma, uh, and in remission and treated with uh, rituximab before. So basically, he was, she was uh, immunoparalyzed or immunoparised mm -hmm. as a result. Uh, and um, we, 
uh, with, with giving a different kind of antiviral without very good response. So at the end of the day, we give her a, 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 a 500 mils convalescent plasma. Uh, and after 48 hours, after two days, uh, the viral load respond extremely well, uh, dropping from, from 10 to 11 locks down to three, lock, three or four locks. Uh, and that the patient clinically improved, he, she was extubated, mm -hmm. uh, and, and also the lungs uh, clear up. Uh, and now she was in isolation bed uh, uh, in, on room air, uh, exercising, and, and that she's just waiting uh, for, uh, for the viral load to turn negative, which should be happening very soon. In fact, it was turned negative a few days ago, but, but then positive again, but so we're waiting for her to turn uh, negative completely. Uh, the other lady was again uh, in, 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 another, in another hospital given convalescent plasma has already been uh, extubated, although she was still on ACMO, but the, uh, the, the viral load was, uh, was, was, uh, was, uh, was negative. So uh, again, she's, she's improving very, very well. So probably convalescent plasma will be the, the drug of uh, the, the treatment of choice. Uh, again, it will be very useful in the state because given the, the large number of patients who have recovered from the COVID-19. Yeah, so I'll give the listeners a context for what we do in the United States. So uh, like Dr. Hung said, um, we have an antiviral. We don't use uh, the combination that uh, they have studied yet, but I think people are interested in using that perhaps in early disease. One of the challenges in the US is that we don't hospitalize all the patients. So it's harder to find those with early disease with lack of testing as, we, as they do in Hong Kong and lack of hospitalization of early disease. The second issue is we do have antivirals and we tend to use more remdesivir. But again, that's in short supply now, um, except in a trial. So we do have, you know, the next NIH trial that we're taking part in is going to look at antiviral plus anti-inflammatory. In this case, it's not IL-6 inhibition, but another one that's JAK1, JAK2 called baricitinib. Yeah. So that's the next step. And we also have used convalescent plasma. So I agree completely with you the real approach in a sick patient is probably going to be both antiviral plus anti-inflammatory with maybe convalescent plasma in case they haven't responded well. In the well patients, on the not so sick patients, not the well one, I think, you know, maybe that uh, interferon, uh, ribavirin, Kaletra combination would probably be very good and or convalescent plasma or antiviral alone. In fact, the key to success is, is early treatment. So regardless whether you give remdesivir or you give uh, interferon, if you are able to treat the patient within the first week from symptom onset, then yeah. a lot of patients will not uh, deteriorate and have the second week complication. And hence, you are able to free the ICU from, from these severe cases from deteriorating. Uh, which, which, is, which is currently happening in, in many parts of the world. I completely agree. And uh, that's a challenge in the U.S. too, because we can't, unless we, as we have ramping up testing, we can find these early cases. Right now, we're just seeing the tip of the iceberg. Yeah. Thank you. 邊個講都好啦,因為而家網上邊係好多傳言嘅,誒所以大家聽咗就算啦,而家暫時嚟講我誒啲醫生係未見到有佢哋有新症咁樣樣,用科學嘅誒數據嚟登出嚟俾大家
邊一種嘅 candidate 比較會係容易實施啲咧？誒、呃，即係又有 viral base 噶啦，又有 vector base 噶啦，又有 RNA DNA base 噶啦，又有誒誒 subunit base 咁，即係有好多種嘅 vac 嘅 vaccine 嘅。咁而家到底係邊種？你覺得係比較容易誒、呃、研發同埋係？而家你以你哋嘅高見，係大概幾耐呢啲 vaccine 先至會可以喺我哋嘅身上邊應用咧，嚟 protect 我哋咧 ？So this is the question about vaccine. Which type is more likely to succeed in clinical trial, and how long will it be that before they can be used、uh, in on a population-based basis? And as Professor Yoon and、um, Dr. Hung knows,、um, you know that Boston company Moderna has a Sort of like a new kind of vaccine, relatively speaking, in the world of vaccines, which is a, an RNA vaccine. So I wanted to get his thoughts about the success of that in the future for neutralizing antibodies. Well, I'm sorry that I'm very pessimistic about mRNA vaccine or DNA vaccine, etc.、Uh, the reason is because、uh, if you look at the data,、uh, when the mRNA vaccine was used in influenza, in the, even the mice model. Despite that, the mice、uh, after immunization did not die from virus challenge. They all have very significant weight loss, how come fifteen to twenty percent weight loss?、Uh, although the, none of the mice die, which means that there are protection. But you know, we know very well. I mean, we have been doing animal experiments for so long. Then you have such degree of weight loss; it is not going to work in human. So I'm very pessimistic about、uh, mRNA vaccine or DNA vaccine. We, we don't think that these would ever. Uh, materialize. Whereas、uh, the easiest thing to do is to just to inactivate the virus and put inside you. That has also a problem because we know that immunopathology has happened before.、Uh, for the measles vaccine, they inactivate the measles and inject in children. But when the children really contact measles, there is not just incomplete protection, but the disease may get even more severe. Now, so that is a problem with.、Um, Whole virus inactivated vaccine. Now then,、uh, it seems to be that what is being to what is going to come out first would be the adenoviral vector vaccine,、uh, especially from made in China. They have finished the trial, and the paper is going to be published in Lancet in the next two days.、Um, the adenoviral vector seems, I mean,、uh, at least in the Ebola setting, and also this time. In the first、uh, phase one clinical trial, they are able to induce very good level of neutralizing antibody. I think they they would come out also、uh, very rapidly. The third is recombinant protein. So people are able to produce a lot of recombinant protein in the、uh, insect cell line or in the mammalian cell line, and、uh, with the whole spike there,、uh, I think that is also、uh, is likely to come out uh, uh, soon. Uh, well, I'm sorry that I'm very pessimistic about、uh, mRNA or DNA vaccine up to this stage in time.、Uh, I, I think something that has really worked before,、uh, the, both in animals and also in human, are going to win out, and、uh, whether the, they are going to be available widely is another story. Because scaling up production is a major industrial issue, which cannot be predicted in a Research laboratory, and、uh, I don't think we would have、uh, everyone in the world would have a vaccine at least three to four years down the road. But of course, limited supply, availability to the healthcare personnel, for example, the first line people, is very likely in one year's time. Right, that is very likely. But I also also want to give a word of caution. In the medical history of mankind, we have never. Give out a coronavirus vaccine in a massive manner, and the amount of <laughs> on the behavior of this COVID-19 virus is still very little. Right. So,、uh, how long would the immunity last? Is the immunity sterilizing or just、uh, reducing the symptoms without、uh, decreasing the amount of、uh, the infectivity? All these are still not very well. So be very careful. I mean, observe for a while before、uh, we should、uh, consider taking the vaccine because、uh, we still so know so little up to this stage in time. And Professor Yun, thank you.、Uh, one other question is about the production side. I mean, it's said that the mRNA mRNA vaccine, even though you're not excited about it, might be easier to produce in a large large scale. 
and also other companies like Pfizer and that German vaccine, they're having these partnerships. So I guess that linkage to pharma is one way to try and scale up production once you have a good vaccine. Right. So, uh, I yeah. think what I heard is that some of the farmers are already producing millions of units of the vaccine just in case if it works, then it'll be like they can just push it out of the market. But I also heard you saying, Professor Yuan, in one of your interviews that you wouldn't be the first to try this vaccine. So you're very conservative about your, your views about yeah. the vaccines that really are not uh, very optimistic. Well, maybe if I gained a lot of weight during COVID-19, I might take the mRNA <laughs> so I can lose some. <laughs> I, I, I trust my mask in the meantime. Wait for, for the more data to come out before we, we, we... I mean, when you inject something into your body, it can't come out. That's uh, common sense, right? Mm, very good. So, um, Professor Yuan, thank you so much. Uh, and Professor Hong, <laughs> I, Professor Ivan Hong, I uh, thank you also for your wonderful uh, study for the triple um, um, drug cocktail therapy study. And so <clears throat> there are a lot more questions and I'll try to figure those out with Dr. Uh, Peter Chin Hong and see if we can answer them by email because the time is getting late. And so uh, we thank you all of you for staying. Most of you stay on even though we uh, are so much over time. Yeah, that's and because Professor Yoon is a movie star. Oh, Everyone no, wants to see the movie. Every one of you are movie stars, all three of you. So um, thank, thank you, so Peter, thank for you inviting. Okay. Thank okay. you, okay. Diana, for hosting. Bye bye. Thank you, Peter. Thank you, Diana. Take care. Bye bye. Uh, thank you so much. Come, uh, thank you, Doctor Daiga. So we'll try to answer your questions. Uh, 我哋可以用 email 答你啲 question。我要同阿 Peter Doctor Peter Chin Hong 倾过睇啲 answer 点样 answer 嚟，咁然后就 send 个 email 嚟答你，好冇？咁然后咧就 um for the next uh town hall. Uh, we hope that uh, we will be talking, picking up some of the uh, themes that we are not able to talk today, and then um, also inviting somebody to talk about testing. Testing is a is a huge, huge problem, and so we want to uh, let you know more about testing by inviting some experts to come and talk about it. And so, thank you so very much for all of you, and we want to thank you, the team. Um, that is helping us uh, to put the, the town hall on and they stay so late for doing this and we, we have a lot of appreciation. One thing I want to point out to you on our website, ahi.ucsf.edu, there is actually a data map in there that one of our um, financial directors who's really good at math and software, Mr. Antonio Chen, and he has grabbed the data from the New York tracker as well as from Johns Hopkins Data Warehouse and put on some canned reports that you can go and pull out data. It's an interactive data map. And so you might want to go to the ahi.ucsf.edu website and play with it. Just click on those arrows that points down and you will get drop boxes uh, for data that you want. So thank you so much, Dr. Peter Chin Hong. I'll be in touch with you uh, to plan for the next town hall. And thank you all for joining us. Thank you, Francine Raymond. Stay home, stay safe, and um, stay apart. We still have to keep the social distance. And wear your mask. Yeah, wear your thank mask. You. Yeah, thank you. Bye-bye.